Okay, the skiing race is in, I don't know, probably one and a half hours, something like that. Um, eight kilometers, like I said. It's gonna be terribly hard, and I'm gonna give it my all. My holy dog gives me holy powers, and he's going to help me win. Right, Darcy? This is his holy nose. It's super holy. Hi everyone, I finished my skiing race about two hours ago, a bit less than two hours. I am recovered for the most part, I feel it in my lungs, feel it in my triceps, feel it in my lats. <sighs> feel it a bit more when I breathe, but I'm fine. Um, it's just cold air and being at like 97% of heart rate, 98%. Basically, same kind of, like it was the same kind of difficulty that I usually have when I'm out running just by myself here in the winter. But on to the actual race. Um, obviously I couldn't post any Bulgarian training footage today and that is because um, I had to win this little race today. Um, there were 15 competitors, 15 male competitors, there were about 15 uh, females as well, but 15 male competitors uh, in the ages between 16 to 19 and I'm 16. <clears throat> oldest guy I beat was 19 um, so I was the best like I said I was the best out of 15 guys I was the best out of 15 athletic young men but it's still not an elite level I need to work my cardio a lot for the national championships this year um, this really doesn't cut it in terms of fighting cardio uh, to win but fighting cardio to go through a competition and be pretty fine uh, I have that level of cardio right now I can safely say that I am slightly positively surprised by the results and how it went. Um, it was an eight kilometer course and basically was actually was a two kilometer course like a like an oval and it was basically um, into the forest up a long hill like one kilometers of uphill basically and then basically one kilometers of downhill so it was a two kilometer um, 360 course it was a two kilometer course. We did it four times, and um, I'm going to tell you a bit more about how it went. So basically, the race started. Um, there were about four guys in front of me uh, after 200 meters. Obviously, that doesn't really make a difference because it's a lot longer than that. But about three to 400 meters in, I overtook two guys. So now there are two guys left. Then there was a very steep uphill, the steepest uphill in the whole thing, about 450 meters in or so. Um... I didn't fly up it, but I went up it fast, and then a bit, like, after the top of that hill, I overtook the guy that was in second place. So I was in second place by that point. <clears throat> then I followed the fastest guy for about 500 meters, um, actually probably 600 meters, so by the 1.2 kilometer mark, um, I yelled at him that I was going into savage mode, I overtook him, um, Obviously, that isn't very sportsmanlike, but when you're in a race, you really don't think about that stuff. It's about winning. So I overtook him. Um, then I came back down into the valley almost. Um, so I had done, r not round, but I had done um, rotation, whatever. I had done um, lap number one. <clears throat> then it was three, la three more laps, <clears throat> which were increasingly slow. I was still like significantly faster than the rest but they were slow um, I probably slowed down by another five percent each lap I would say that's pretty pretty reasonable that's probably what I did and like I said I, I finished the race in 36 minutes and 15 seconds 36 minutes and 20 seconds somewhere in that range so I did eight kilometers in 36 minutes uh, basically a bit more than that so I don't I can't do the math in my head right now but I know it's it's in between four and five minutes per kilometer which is reasonable, given the fact that it was very hilly on the way up, but also steep on the way down. Um, but all in all, you do lose time um, due to that uphill fatiguing you so much that even if you're fast in the downhill, overall, it's not really worth it, if you want to put it that way, um, to have the up and the downhills. <clears throat> 
but I felt good, felt strong, felt solid. Um, I'm going to try to get back into training tomorrow. I'm not going to be motivated. I, I want to marinate in this happiness from winning, but that isn't how the real world works. This is a skiing school competition that isn't anywhere near to where I need to be. Um, but as a fitness channel, I think it's important that I don't only focus on my muscles, but I focus on my cardio, my heart, um, my movement, my, my other skills. And um, this cross-country skiing race, you can see that thing there. This cross-country skiing race, I think it's not definitive proof, but it is proof of the fact that I do train cardio um, and that I do care about my health. I do care about other stuff than just strength. So a lot of guys have strength channels nowadays and uh, fitness channels that are only muscle based and how you look based. This is a performance channel. This is a channel about sports. This is a channel about strength. All right. Bodybuilding um, is not what I'm doing at all. All right. I'm looking for physical sport performance. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Um, yeah, it felt good. Um, I, I don't know if I said this, but I beat the second guy by a bit over a five minute margin. So he finished the race in about a bit over 41 minutes. I finished the race in 36 minutes and 20 seconds. So um, big margins to the second guy. And yeah. I'm happy. I'm happy. I managed to go into savage mode today and I'm not completely destroyed. Um, although I really feel in my triceps and my lats. So tomorrow we'll see if I can train or not. Uh, probably won't train, but I will if I can. And I will see you at least on Saturday. Um, I might have to adjust my deadlift training because I'm having some issues. The deadlift is too heavy, especially with what I just did now. I'm probably going to have to scale it back a bit with deadlifts. Squats are going well, presses are going decent, deadlifts not so much. But I'm now I'm ranting. Thank you for watching. I just won a skiing race in my school. Beat 15 guys. Oldest one was 19. Beat the second guy by 5 minutes in an 8km course. So, feeling good. Goodbye.